We just did a pretty basic uh, start beginning flywheel marks lined up ignition. Uh, pulled, the, pulled the distributor, got it loose, it was freed up, it was frozen. Uh, timing was off by quite a bit. Probably the reason it was overheating. I've been running here now for about 15 minutes, uh, just sitting idling in the garage or in the shop and have not had uh, any issues. It's not up, gone over about 140 degrees where normally in just a few minutes it would go way over. So I'm assuming it's a timing issue because uh, like I said, the distributor was frozen. I uh, had a hard time having to get some coil on that and deal with it. Uh, finally got it loosened up. Um, got it again, set everything based on flywheel marks. Top dead center on number one went through. Uh, reset the points. The points were really, really tiny gap. I was surprised it was uh, still running. So, I guess it just, you know, sitting and uh, infrequent running. Uh, it's amazing how stuff happens. But, um, and you can hear it, it's ticking over now. It's really good. I can't get my uh, tack function to work on my multimeter. Um, but I got a dwell uh, meter coming, so hopefully I'll be able to do that. But um, I do run in a vacuum gauge, and of course, everything everybody's telling me, it looks like I'm at about 22, and that's uh, right where it needs to be. So uh, everything everybody's talking about is in the normal normal motor, 20, between 20 and 22 and, uh, on a suction gauge. A lot of guys are saying do that with minor fuels at better timing. So. I just kind of did it by the, the suction gauge and retarded it a, quite a bit. It was pretty advanced, which is what I, what I thought. But um, again, you look here at uh, it barely over 140, and it has now been running for 15, 20 minutes just sitting here idling. It, it wouldn't do that before it would overheat. So I think I got the, um, the, the overheating issue fixed. Didn't need the thermostat. I had the thermostat. A new radiator cap and everything on the way, um, but working with what I got, and uh, it, that was my my suspicions all along. I thought the timing was off. Um, I slowed the idle down, reduced the idle mixture quite a bit. Um, I think it still may be running a little bit rich. Um, we'll see. Uh, I did run some sea foam in it. That probably helped me clear out some stuff in the carburetor. So man, I'm I'm just pleased with it. Look, it's, I mean it's. For a Ford banger, you're getting a little bit of shaking on the oil filter there, but you know, for the most part, it's just, it's not moving, it's really smooth. Um, like I said, I think I'm pretty happy with that out of it. Um, I didn't go any, it had a little bit slower and then, then uh, back the mixture up and it was dying out, and so, uh, but it seems to be running really good now.